hard to hear uh, that, you know, the words and then there's cheering. But this is the video and the rhetoric, rhetoric coming from the left. It is astounding, all of this. As today, arson investigators look into the cause of a fire over the weekend inside the headquarters of a pro-life group in Wisconsin. It's called Family Action. Madison Police telling the Wisconsin State Journal that the fire was reported just after 6 a.m. It was suspicious in nature. You can see the damage inside there. Police say they found the remnants of at least one Molotov cocktail and graffiti was sprayed outside the building reading, quote, if abortions aren't safe, then then you aren't either. The good news is no one was hurt in that arson fire. Correspondent Christina Thompson joining us now, though, with more on this story and other protests that broke out. Christina. Well, Bianca, as you were saying, pro-choice groups now using tactics and even resorting to that violence you just talked about in an effort to intimidate judges, as we know, that uh, opinion was released. Now, the governor of Wisconsin, Tony Evers, tweeting in response, quote, we condemn violence and hatred in all forms, including the actions at Wisconsin Family Action in Madison last night that you were just talking about with our viewers. Now, this is pro-abortion protesters march to Justices Kavanaugh and Roberts' private homes on Saturday. Protesters stayed outside Justice Kavanaugh's home until at least 8.30 p.m., according to social media reports of people in attendance there. Now, this is also really shocking. This is coming from a tweet from a protester in attendance saying that apparently Kavanaugh's neighbors organized the protest, and that's how it got started. And over in New York City, this happened outside a Catholic church. Members of the church had planned to begin their monthly protest walk to a local Planned Parenthood, but they were met with counter-protesters. Now, the White House is finally taking a stance on these protests. Jen Psaki tweeting out that the president strongly believes in the constitutional right to protest, but it, it should never include violence, threats, or vandalism. Judges perform an incredibly important function in our society, and they must be able to do their jobs without concern for their safety. From reading social media comments and posts throughout the day, it really doesn't look like this will be the last of the protests. There were more planned for today. There are plan more planned for today, even outside of other judges' homes. This is Justin Samuel Alito allegedly has moved to an undisclosed location. So it's not the end of it. Um, we're still going to be monitoring this situation. Back to you guys.